We will now talk about the difference between a maximum and a minimum quadratic function. This is a typical quadratic equation. Okay? And when you plot a quadratic equation in your normal xy axis, right, you are bound to get a curve like this or a curve like this. Okay? Now, we call this U-shaped curve a minimum curve a minimum quadratic curve and we call this n-shaped curve a maximum quadratic curve why maximum why minimum well simple for this curve as your x gets greater your y gets greater and as your x gets smaller your y gets greater so there's only one turning point here and it is here Okay, so this is the turning point. Alright, so when your curve has a minimum turning point, this lowest point, we, it, we call it the minimum curve. Likewise, this curve has a maximum point. Okay, has got a maximum, the highest point. Therefore, we call it a maximum point. Now, whether or not your quadratic equation is a maximum or a minimum is solely decided by the a, which is the coefficient of x squared. Now, you will have a maximum curve, a maximum quadratic curve, if your a is less than 0. Okay? Conversely, if your a happens to be greater than 0, then you will have a smiley face, okay? A minimum curve that's in the shape of a u. Alright? So, whenever your a is negative number, if the coefficient of x squared is negative number, for example, an equation like this, negative x squared plus 2x minus 1, for example. Okay? Because this is a negative x squared, alright, you will be a, it will be a, come a, a quadratic equation that is a maximum, that has a maximum point. Alright? Likewise for this, if you have, uh, say, an example of uh, y is equal to 2x squared minus 3x plus 2, for example. Because this is a positive 2, you will have a smiley face. Okay, how do you remember? I think it's rather easy to remember. Positive means happy. Happy means happy face. Alright? Here, negative means, well, bad news, negative news, you know. Negative means unhappy and therefore unhappy face, a frowny face. Alright, so we'll talk about how are we going to find out where exactly this maximum or minimum point is. How are we going to find that out, okay, um, in the next section.